Uh, welcome back. Sam Smith is back again with more attention-seeking vulgarity. So he seems to, like a chameleon, flip into something, some other new identity. It's time for my uh, villain era, I think. The entertainment world is buzzing with the latest drama involving Piers Morgan and Sam Smith. Apparently, Morgan threw some serious shade at the popular singer, calling them a disgusting Madonna. The comment has not gone down well with Smith, who is reportedly fuming over the insult. But what exactly is going on? Stay tuned to find out. Piers Morgan has never been one to mince his words, and his recent comments about Sam Smith were no exception. During a discussion on his show, Morgan commented on Smith's recent decision to use gender-neutral pronouns. The singer had requested that people refer to them as they instead of he, a move that was seen as a step towards inclusivity and acceptance of different gender identities. However, Morgan seemed to take issue with this, arguing that Smith was trying too hard to be different and was simply following in the footsteps of other artists who had made similar moves. While he did not explicitly call Sam Smith any names, the comments made by one of his guests seemed to suggest that they viewed the singer as a copycat of Madonna. It's striking that it's sort of very unoriginal. I mean, all the stuff he's doing, the sort of over-sexualized stuff, the sort of satanic stuff, Madonna. Meanwhile, Morgan's comments were met with immediate backlash, with many accusing him of being transphobic and insensitive towards the LGBTQ community. They argued that Smith's decision to use gender-neutral pronouns was a personal choice and one that should be respected rather than criticized. However, this is not the first time that Piers has mocked Sam Smith. In a separate interview, Piers Morgan referred to the singer as a coward for their controversial Grammys performance. I wouldn't say it's cowardly. I'd say that is an example of kind of cowardice because we all... Piers went further to add that Sam's performance was a provocation to nearly two-thirds of Americans. Hey, what they did last night uh, was a deliberate act of provocation to a group of people who represent nearly two-thirds of America. To add more salt to the injury, Piers described Smith as someone who doesn't know what they are. The problem I have with Sam Smith is that they can't seem to work out what they are. Piers then doubled down on his comment and went as far as to compare Smith to a chameleon. It's hard to keep up with Sam Smith because every 18 months or so he seems to, like a chameleon, flip into something, some other new identity. For context, Smith and Kim Petras delivered an electrifying performance of their viral banger Unholy at the 2023 Grammy Awards, held on February 6th. Not only did they snag the award for best pop duo, but they also set tons waggy when certain social media users claimed that their act was satanic. The duo took things to the next level by donning all red outfits that screamed sin and temptation, and the stage was lit up with fiery red lights that added to the blazing hotness. They went full on demon mode, with performers dressed up as the devil, wielding whips to show they're not to be trifled with. Smith even topped it off by donning a hat with devil horns, serving some serious wickedness. Smith has opened up about the inspiration behind their chart-topping hit, revealing that creating Unholy was an exhilarating experience that allowed them to break free from creative constraints. Smith added that collaborating with the amazing Kim Petras was a highlight, and that the song's message of breaking free from other secrets is what gives it an edge. It was so cathartic and free to experiment like this and throw out the rulebook. It has also been an honor to work with Kim and get to witness her brilliance. This song is about liberating oneself from the clutches of other secrets. The pop star said, aside from this, Smith has been critiqued over the I'm not here to make friends video. The video in question, which features Smith wearing nipple pasties and a corset while having liquid blasted in their face, has been labeled vulgar and not a piece of art by critics. While some have defended Smith's artistic vision, arguing that the video is a powerful statement about gender and sexuality, others are calling it out as obscene and inappropriate. But the drama does again there. Smith's defenders are accusing critics of being homophobic and transphobic, pointing out that if a female pop star had released a similarly sexualized video, it wouldn't be attracting nearly as much criticism. If a straight white cis woman pop star did what Sam Smith did, there would be no problem, said academic Dr. Charlotte Proudman. People just don't like that Sam is queer, plus-sized and unapologetic about it. Elsewhere, Aiden Myfett wrote, There are thousands, if not millions, of far more sexually explicit pop videos than that Sam Smith one. Most of them will feature young girls. It must be exhausting being so hateful all the time, and to be so utterly terrified of difference. Sam Smith has faced discrimination and bigotry in their career as an openly queer artist. One of the most publicized instances occurred at the 2016 Academy Awards, where Smith won the award for Best Original Song. During their acceptance speech, they dedicated the award to the LGBTQ community and stated that they were the first openly gay person to win an Oscar in a major category. However, this statement was not entirely accurate, as openly queer winners had previously won in categories such as Best Original Screenplay and Best Documentary Feature. This sparked outrage, with many accusing Smith of erasing the achievements of queer winners who came before them. 
However, Smith later clarified their statement and apologized for any confusion they may have caused. Unfortunately, this was not the only instance of discrimination that Smith has faced. In a 2019 interview with Zane Lowe, Smith opened up about the struggles they faced as a queer artist in the music industry. They revealed that they had been advised not to talk about their sexuality early in their career as it could potentially harm their commercial success. Smith also stated that they had been hesitant to use male pronouns in their songs as they didn't want to limit their audience or be seen as only appealing to a queer demographic. Smith has also faced backlash from within the queer community for their comments on gender identity. In a 2019 interview with the Sunday Times, they stated that they did not feel like a cisgender man and had considered getting a sex change. Many transgender activists criticized Smith for their comments, stating that they were perpetuating harmful stereotypes about gender identity and implying that transgender people must have surgery in order to feel valid. Despite these challenges, Smith has remained a powerful force in the music industry and a vocal advocate for queer rights. They have used their platform to speak out against discrimination and promote acceptance and inclusivity. In a 2019 interview, Smith stated that they hope their music can serve as a source of comfort and inspiration for queer individuals who are struggling to find acceptance. Furthermore, Smith has also faced criticism for their musical style and how it compares to other artists. Many have compared their sound to that of Adele, another British singer known for her soulful ballads. While both artists have powerful voices and emotional lyrics, some argue that Smith's music lacks originality and is simply a copycat of Adele's style. This criticism has only been amplified by Morgan's recent comments, with some suggesting that Smith's decision to use gender-neutral pronouns was a calculated move to differentiate themselves from Adele and other artists in the same genre. However, this viewpoint overlooks the fact that Smith's decision to use gender-neutral pronouns was likely a personal one, rooted in their own gender identity and desire for inclusivity. Despite the criticism they have faced, Smith remains a beloved and influential figure in the music industry. They have won numerous awards and have been praised for their powerful vocals and emotional songwriting. In addition to their music career, Smith has also been an advocate for various social and political causes. They have been vocal about their support for the gay community rights and have used their platform to speak out against discrimination and bigotry. Smith has also been open about their struggles with mental health and body image. In fact, Smith recently opened up about feeling good in their skin after struggling with their weight while being in the public eye. They admitted that it was a long journey before they were able to be comfortable enough to post topless for their recent album cover, Gloria. Within my industry, there is definitely that question of what should a pop star look like. They told the Sunday Times, noting that they never fit the norm. However, Smith revealed that the turning point with their self-image was after their thrill of it all turned in 2018. When I was 25, I came off tour exhausted. I looked to bring natos in the body world. Every time I went to the pool, I felt self-conscious, but I forced myself to take my top off. They said, it paid off because I now have the opposite of body dysmorphia. I look fabulous. I'm finally getting a tan. I'm burnt in places I've never been burnt. The unholy singer, who came out as non-binary in May 2019, admitted that they are no longer faced by any opinions about their size, and they're still using music as an outlet. I get closer to who I am with each album, Smith said, noting that their fourth studio album Gloria was inspired by their feminine spirit, I'm happier in my own skin on Gloria. I feel liberated, released from pressures I felt when I was young. They said, my mom says that, as I got older, I stopped caring what people think as much. She tends to be right. Despite the controversy and criticism surrounding Sam Smith's recent work, there's no denying that they remain a hugely successful pop star with a loyal fan base. Smith has already weathered their fair share of controversies and negative attention, and there's no reason to believe that they won't continue to thrive in Hollywood. Anyway, that's it for this video folks, bye!